This is a no disqualification match. It is for the Knockouts Championship scheduled for one fall. Introducing first the challenger from Hackettstown, New Jersey. She is the virtuosa, Deanna Perrazzo. Deanna Perrazzo knows what big fight feel means. Deanna Perrazzo knows what it's like to enter a championship match as the challenger. She also knows how it feels to be champion. She knows the agony of defeat. She lost the championship and she wants it back here tonight. No disqualifications. Her barrister agreed to the terms. Here we go. Her opponent from off the grid. She is the knockout champion, Sue Young. As Scott DeMore pointed out recently on Impact Wrestling, Sure, Deanna could have gone the legal route, but why not settle it inside the ring here at Turning Point? Why not settle it in no disqualifications against Sue Young? Madison Rain, there was a point in time, and as you can see, Sue Young has a weapon in her hand, that Sue Young nearly ended your career. Is this a wise decision for Deanna to enter into a stipulation like no disqualifications against the undead bride? I think that while this is a terrifying decision for Deanna Perrazzo, it's one that she had to make. She has to defeat Sue Young in a big way and put her in the rear view mirror or else her fate could start to look like mine had the potential to only a few short years ago at the hands of Sue Young. Knockouts championship on the line. Sue Young certainly makes her presence felt with her arrival inside the ring. Deanna Perrazzo does not look all that intimidated at the moment, but perhaps just another duck on the pond. As Sue Young, steel chair in hand, no disqualifications. Sue knows that she can do whatever she wants here in this match tonight against Deanna Perrazzo. We'll see if the champion strikes first once she enters the ring. And Deanna Perrazzo tried to get the jump on Sue. She goes up and over. So Madison Rain, in my opinion, this is very telling Oh, of the type of match that Deanna Perrazzo knew she was getting into. I mean, you can't blame her, Josh, for wanting to end this match as quickly as humanly possible. Couple of forearms here by Deanna Perrazzo, who considers herself the greatest technical women's wrestler in the world today. But this might not be a technical matchup as a back elbow comes flying in by Sue. This may be just an all out brawl. And again, no disqualifications means there's no count outs. It means that they can battle out, the referee can say and do whatever he wants out here. But these, these two don't have to get back inside the ring at any time. They can do whatever they want. Sue can do as much damage as she wants, and then they can get back inside the ring as Sue continues to go to work. Look at this. Has the neck, the head of Deanna Perrazzo. Does that all set up for Sue's signature move, the panic switch where she just drives you into the canvas? You know, I think most of us as athletes who step between the ropes, we have a game plan, we have a strategy. Everything that we do throughout the minutes of the match, it all leads to one grand finale, right? I don't think that's Sue Young. I think Sue Young just wants to get in the ring and, and hurt people, and, and that's what gives her the most pleasure. I would say in life, but I'm not sure what level or, or, or what range of, of life is there to be had in Sue Young. Yeah, great point. As Deanna Peraza now has the ankle of Sue, Deanna will ultimately look for an arm bar or a double arm bar, and she calls that Venus de Milo as she will look to, oh, and Sue's got the glove. Sue's got the blood-stained glove that she will use as a mandible claw. She will stick that down the throat of Deanna Perrazzo and ultimately try to knock her out. And Deanna has felt that in her throat and in her nightmares before as now she twists that into an arm bar. Sue rolls through and quickly escapes and Sue connects with a palm strike. So we're seeing a lot of signature Sue Young early here. Sue off the ropes now and Deanna comes firing back with a shot to the midsection. If Deanna Perrazzo, single arm DDT there, if she can keep this a wrestling match, Madison Rain, I think Deanna wins. If this continues to be a brawl, Sue's gonna leave here with her title. Surface level, I mean, I think most people would agree with you, Josh, but look, we haven't seen Deanna 
in an environment like this. We haven't seen her in a no disqualification tight match. So, oh. She's got a name for this too, right? Well, it's, it, this is the, the, the paradise lock and it's a brilliant <coughs> maneuver on the part of Deanna Perrazzo to literally tie Sue Young up so that she can't get that hand free, so that she can't try to stick that repulsive, disgusting glove down the throat of her opponent. You know, we did see Deanna Perrazzo in a stipulation match. It was a 30 minute first ever knockouts championship match. That match to me, is more Deanna Perrazzo's speed and style, but as I say that, she's filling the ring with weapons. To your point, we don't know what depths Deanna Perrazzo has. Maybe she's just as comfortable in a match like this as she threw a kendo stick into the ring. We've seen Sue use weapons. We've seen Sue lose her mind on Deanna Perrazzo inside the ring. We saw that recently on Impact. Disqualifications all over the place, which ultimately led to this Knockouts Championship match. And Deanna Perrazzo, let's see what she's got in there. Steel chairs, kendo stick, garbage can lid. What else is she looking for underneath the ring? Well, I don't know what she's looking for, Josh, but I think that I commend Deanna Perrazzo for what she's doing here. She knew that she had to dig deep. She had to go to a dark place. She had to go to a place that we don't normally see the virtuosa go if she's going to defeat Su Young and regain the Knockouts Championship. Putting a steel chair between the top and middle rope here is Deanna Peraza. Was that a canvas for painting that she put this out the ring? Deanna blocks the kendo stick attempt. Sue blocks the steel chair. And Sue looking to climb inside. Oh, and Deanna's no. head is about, nope. no. Deanna puts on the brakes. Waist lock by Su Young. Ring filled with toys. As Deanna Peraza, you can see the way she took her heel there, her ankle, and got it around the leg of Sue. That'll stop any leverage from Sue. Standing switch from Deanna and a German suplex from the former Knockouts champion, looking to become Knockouts champion here tonight at Turning Points. Josh, think of everything that Deanna Perrazzo has done. Oh. She's been back at Impact Wrestling for less than less than half a year, less than six months. She came in, she defeated Jordan Grace for the Knockouts title. She defeated Jordan Grace in a 30-minute Knockouts Iron Man match. The things that she's been able to do in such a short time are, are record-breaking. They're historic. And I'm sure that Deanna's Singular focus here tonight is to continue making history. We'll see if that happens. We'll see if Deanna becomes a two-time knockouts champion here tonight at Turning Point. And Sue's trying to do anything she can to counter. Not sure where that hand is. If it was inside the mouth of Deanna Perrazzo, couldn't see because of Deanna's hair. Deanna went to argue with the referee there. There's no arguing with the referee here. His job in this one is to count one, two, three, or see if somebody taps or passes out. This is no disqualifications. Look at the, Look at the yeah. face of Sue Young. That's the kind of stuff that nightmares are made of. Sue in the corner. You never know what Sue's thinking or what she's capable of, even in a situation like this. So as confidence grows for Deanna Perrazzo, Sue may be playing more mind games. Yeah, but here's the thing, Josh. You can't stick a mandible claw down someone's throat if your arms have been ripped off. Certainly can't. <laughs> oh. Oh, and, and that's exactly what Deanna Perrazzo is looking to do here tonight is dismantle Sue Young and, and quite literally rip her limb from limb to regain her knockouts championship. Deanna Perrazzo has that, that canvas in the center of the ring now. And she's, is she looking to make a masterpiece of <laughs> Sue's face here? Not sure how much damage that did, but credit to Deanna for using every tool that was underneath that ring. Oh, and Sue connects with the kendo stick. She calls, Deanna does, her friend, Kimberly, the curator, calls herself the virtuosa. And if that canvas stays intact, I hope somebody grabs it and we can sell it at uh, ebay.com slash impact wrestling. Maybe we can get Deanna to sign it. Sue rolls to the outside here. No disqualifications in this one at turning point. And, Trying to get a look at Sue and see if she still has that bloody glove on her the hand. The glove is still on, but she she's clearly in Ooh. pain. Yeah, Sue rolled to the outside, and Deanna went out and joined her. And, and five minutes ago, I would have said, big mistake by Deanna Perrazzo, but Deanna's holding her own in this environment of notice qualifications, and Sue goes shoulder first into the steel post. 
Josh, Deanna Perrazzo, as we sit here right now, she's 26 years old. Wow. She's been wrestling for 12 oh. of those 26 years. Nearly half of her life has oh. been given to professional wrestling. So you have to think at some point she's prepared as best a human being can prepare for an opponent like Sue Young. See the way that Deanna had Sue's arm there in that guardrail and just pulling and then kicking. And now Sue, where is she going? What is she looking for? She's got, what is that, oh. a net? A that looks like a, a rope. Oh, you're right. And Sue has been known throughout her career to use ropes like this and to do things like this and to choke the life out of people. And she went deep underneath the ring to get that rope and Deanna's back inside the ring, and this is a game changer, folks. This is, is this gets your stomach feeling like it's tied knots, and you don't know what Sue Young is willing to do or how far she's willing to go. There's the baking sheets. Don't know why we just don't keep those back in catering, but they've made their way underneath the ring, and here comes Sue Young back inside the ring yet again. Deanna counters. Oh, nice move there by Deanna Perrazzo. And Sue, she certainly had to land on something, whether it was the kendo stick or the piece of canvas. And now Deanna Perrazzo has a weapon. That's the kendo stick, and she's firing away. Three shots to the midsection of Sue. And here comes Deanna, and Sue counters with the boots. Deanna Perrazzo yet again, and so oh, the chair. Oh, that chair that Deanna Perrazzo set up in the corner came back to haunt her later. Totally forgot about the chair in the corner. Sue's body was in front of it. I think Deanna forgot about it as well. And Deanna goes through that chair. Now, Madison, Deanna's offense, it's, it, her, she needs her, her arms, her shoulders to be at 100% to lock in those arm bars. They don't look that way right now. No, I think that both of these women are hurting. Both look worse for wear here. It's just going to be a matter of... As I've said before, in big fight feel matches of who can dig deep. I'm in pain just watching this match as Deanna Perrazzo and Sue Young both back to their feet. Oh, striking back and forth. There's Deanna. Here comes Sue. And look at this. Who's going to get the better of this exchange? And Sue goes down in a boot there by Deanna Perrazzo. Sue comes fighting back in one of those baking sheets. Four, five, six times now from Sue trying to, look at the, that thing is bent and twisted. Oh, caught her right in the back of the head. And Deanna is gonna look for higher ground and Sue says, no reprieve, I'm coming right after you. And Sue's starting to glitch. Josh, Sue is going to have to. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Sue Young, pedigree oh. on the stage. A pedigree from Sue Young on the stage, and a pedigree locks your arms behind you. If your eyes are opened, all you see is the ground coming at what feels like 100 miles per hour. Yeah, I was getting ready to say Sue is going to have to do something unthinkable here because I talked to Deanna Perrazzo earlier today, and she said that short of dragging Deanna to the undead realm, there's literally nothing that is going to stop her. There's nothing Sue can do to stop her from becoming knockout here we go. champion. Sue's going to retain her title here tonight at turning point. Deanna Perrazzo kicks out at two. Somehow Deanna Perrazzo stays alive, and Sue is arguing with the official. The damage to Deanna may be done at this yeah. point. It may not have been that that pin, that moment that won the match for Sue, but Deanna's definitely hurting right now. She's definitely in pain. And now Sue looking for the panic switch. Her signature move, she will spin and disorient Deanna Perrazzo, who somehow escapes out the back. And Deanna Perrazzo blocks the mist with the canvas and smashes it over Sue's head. So Deanna used it as a shield and then a weapon. Innovative defense and then turnaround offense by Deanna Perrazzo. She's got to capitalize now, though. Deanna grabbed whatever she could, and that, my friends, was the canvas, and now she's got Sue's head in a chair, and are we gonna see Venus DeMilo? Oh, she's my. got it. 
Oh, my, Sue's in trouble. The championship's in trouble. Sue may pass out. This could come down to the referee's discretion because she can't tap because her hands are locked up. And if she passes out inside that chair, can we hear what Sue's saying? Is she out? Our hand just dropped. Sue Young is not moving. Referee hasn't made an indication whether or not this match is, is over or not. Raise your hand, do your job! Deanna says, do your job, one. raise your hand. So there's one, if it drops three times, the match is over, there's two. Mm. One more to go, and Sue's still alive. The Undead Bride is still in it, somehow, some way. Wow, and she's back up with a vengeance. The she's got the mandible claw, Josh. This may be over, Sue Young with her arms trapped in Venus de Milo, now has a mandible claw. It was just seconds ago that Sue was out cold, and now it's Deanna Peraza who's fading. There's no rope break. There's no disqualifications. Deanna Peraza is fading. Sue spots the rope. Oh, no. Oh, no. This may be the end of Deanna Peraza. Courtesy of the undead bride, she's gonna wrap that thing around Deanna's neck. And Sue Young has no regard for her opponent here. Deanna Perrazzo may be seeing the blackout coming. She's trying to fight free and somehow get Sue off of her back. Got the rope removed from her neck. Deanna Perrazzo now, what is she looking for here? Oh! She hit it, Josh! She calls that Cosa Nostra! And will it be enough to regain? Yes, it is! Deanna Perrazzo is Knockouts Champion yet again! Here is your winner and new Knockouts Champion, Deanna Perrazzo! And Deanna Perrazzo is Knockouts Champion for the second time in her career! Josh. After weeks of trying, we've seen her try for this pile driver that she calls Cosa Nostra. She went for it at Bound for Glory, was not successful. Tried for it again in her rematch on Impact. Again, unsuccessful. But here tonight, a different story. She executes perfectly, and it leads her to her second reign as Knockouts Champion. So Deanna Perrazzo uses that cradle pile driver Cosa Nostra to become Knockouts Champion here tonight, and she did it in Sue Young's environment. She did it in Sue's world. She did it in no disqualifications. Yeah, Josh, in some circles, Cosa Nostra translates to our thing, means our thing. And tonight, Deanna Perrazzo used her thing, Cosa Nostra, to secure the Knockouts title yet again. Deanna Perrazzo is Knockouts Champion. What's gonna happen this upcoming Tuesday night on an all new Impact Wrestling on Access TV after Deanna defeats Sue in no disqualifications with our main event coming up next.